Greetings, Centennial State, and welcome to the Colorado Report. I'm Dave Rex. Twice a week, we bring you select headlines and side stories from the Rocky Mountain State. Thank you for joining us. This trail jogger, whose name we do not know yet, told Colorado Parks and Wildlife that he heard something behind him. He turns around, he sees this mountain lion, which mountain lion, which then lunged at him, bit him in the face and neck. They get into it. Ultimately, the man was able to overpower the animal and suffocate it. Now, wildlife officials say it was a young mountain lion about the size of this one, around 80 pounds, though this is not the lion from the attack. The jogger with bites and scratches to his back legs, face and wrist, managed to get back to his vehicle and drive to the hospital. State officials say he suffered serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Colorado Springs doctor is heading up to Denver to support a bill that would make it illegal to vape indoors. 11 News reporter Jenna Mitta is live at the El Paso County Citizen Service Center. Jenna, why is it not illegal right now? Well, Rebecca and Adam, doctors say it's a loophole that needs to be addressed. Now, some businesses or establishments might already prohibit vaping indoors, like uh, the Citizens Service Center here, but it is not a state law right now, so one local doctor is working to change that. She'll be testifying at a House committee hearing this afternoon in support of a bill that would update the state's Clean Indoor Air Act to include electronic cigarettes. She says vaping is especially dangerous for children and teens because it can affect their brain development. Doctors are hoping that by making vaping illegal indoors, it might help change the mindset people have that e-cigarettes are safe. We can make a public health impact and help to um, prevent our youth from starting these products or um, help to show our kids that these products are not okay um, by not allowing them in public places. Now, if you support this bill or if you want to make your voice heard, you can send a pre-written letter to your state representative. We have a link about how to do that on our website, kktv.com. Just click on the red Find It tab. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Jenna Middaw, KKTV 11 News. Big topic right now. Thanks so much, Jenna. Local high school students are headed to the state championships now. It's all part of the Colorado High School Mock Trial Tournament. The students are playing the roles of lawyers, defendants, and witnesses as part of a simulated trial. I was fortunate to be one of the judges last night for the regional competition. The kids were incredible. You can tell that they put in a lot of hours and dedication, and it really shows. It was such a cool thing to watch. Good luck to both teams at state. And that's it for this Wednesday edition of the Colorado Report. You can check out links and show notes for this and all episodes at thecoloradoreport.com. You can send your emails to coloradoreport at gmail.com. You can tweet me. The handle is at the CO Report. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for listening. I'll talk to you soon.